inspiration because I tend to work from the places that um, the places where I am. And I'm currently traveling and have been traveling across the country for six months. So it was part of experiencing a new place um, and thinking about how you get comfortable enough and familiar enough with a place that you can make work from that place. So I spent a lot of time, I visited Santa Barbara without a car and spent a lot of time on foot um, looking around. And the first thing that I was struck by and tend to be inspired by is um, nature. And here there's such a wide variety of trees. Um, particularly, I was interested in the palm trees that are very tall and the way that they kind of structure the spaces and um, the fig trees, one of which is at the mission and one the other that's by the train station, which are these gigantic trees that um, are kind of half root actually above ground. And um, I work with materials that are readily available and when I got here I was really shocked that there was no trash anywhere coming from New York City where I've lived for 13 years and collected a lot of trash. Um, it was void of that, and even the natural stuff that falls off of all of these trees, which there's a lot of, and it tends to be really thick and woody and kind of sculptural on its own, that seemed to be whisked away and put into trash bags um, right away and everything looked really pristine. So I was wondering where trash might collect, and I started looking in the creeks, which are kind of the natural gutters for Santa Barbara, it seems. And there I found a lot of paper trash, and that is what I used as my material for the show. Um, the entire show, with the exception of this collage, which will be outside in the vitrine, uh, has been made out of things that I collected here. Um, but actually, with the collage, the, the paint or the dye that colors it was produced from boiling a lot of the natural material that I collected. Um, and that natural material got reprocessed into handmade paper. So it's handmade paper out of um, just paper trash as well as natural detritus that I picked up. And today I'm going to be transforming this space and my vision is that I am making five poles of sorts and they were inspired by specifically the eucalyptus bark that falls off and makes these really nice sculptural pole shapes. Um, and these are all flat right now, so I've traveled with them after making them in Oregon. And today they're going to start to occupy the space and become 12 foot long poles. And my idea is kind of like um, pick up sticks that drop and fall randomly. So I'm gonna see how to produce this randomness. And um, yeah, that's the bulk of the space. There are other little things that I have to decide as I go along are you that work pretty intuitively and um, make decisions as I go and follow what feels right. So just over the process, you'll see this place change and my decisions physically manifested. 